Well, enjoy. we want to thank uh, thank Bruce for coming by. Bruce, you want to wave, say hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> Bruce says hi to the people. Uh, look at that, man. The conda head is on the on the south bend. You got people. Uh, I am on. I am ready to plug it in. Huh? You got that in? No, I got, but it's, I mean, if all the power the wiring is already done, all I need to do is plug it into that line off to coming off the wall yeah, there. Yeah. And get everything out of the way, exactly. <laughs> all right, made in Spain, the Conda is now mounted to the South Bend. Hallelujah. I know a lot of you didn't think I was going to do it, but here I am. Thanks again, Bruce. Yeah, really appreciate your help. You did it the smart way. Well, you, you ain't gonna have any trouble. Okay. Well, I have a step stool to stand on to get over there. I was able to lift it up all the way, which is a pretty far stride. I mean, I didn't have to raise the table that much. You can see I got, you know, 10 or 11 inches. I can still raise the table. Well, that's kind of because I had this all set up on here and was trying to balance the quill on this and that was kind of a disaster. But I wasn't, you know, I always had the strap on there so I wasn't, you know, I always had a backup. Well, I need to get into that electrical box and uh, find out what's going on there. shouldn't have to go inside the pecker head. None of that was tampered with by me or anybody since this was a running machine. There's got to be just a bad connection in here in, the, in that box. I'm very excited guys. Very excited. I have a little concern about how tight I got this plate to the south bend and if it's going to stay in place under the strain of milling. But I'm not, you know, the lifting is done. I can, um, Anything else I need, at the, at the very at the very most, I'm going to drill holes in the back here to uh, get an Allen wrench on the cap head screw that's holding that plate. And uh, I really should have done that in the first place. But, uh, that give me something to do. I may be waiting for an electrician, so. That give me something to do in the meantime. Other than that, I'm, I'm very pleased. I, uh, I guess I should unhook the crane for now. And crank that thing in. Get some of the weight off of that ram. Come on, guys. It's the mighty Conda South Bend. Gotta love it. Let me get into that box, figure out what's going on. Okay. Well, I thought I had 90 degrees, but I'm reading the damn thing upside down. Should that be 90? There's zero. Well, 
How come I'm not getting 90 degrees? I guess I am getting 90 degrees. Yeah. So, I don't know. Is that tram down? I guess it is. I still need to work on getting it tighter. Getting the plate tighter. So, we're kind of there in concept. I'm still probably going to need to back this thing out enough to get a socket in there. Um, he couldn't. See, I used to have a mark over here for zero degrees. So let's see if it's still still there. Yep, that's. You probably can't see it, but there's a little scribe line there. Okay, so this is the speed for the down feed. This turns the down feed on and off. There's three positions. There's one, neutral, and in. There's like forward, neutral, reverse, maybe. Something like that, or up or down. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Uh, here's the brake. Um, put this, you swing this over into low gear you turn this you hear it clunk and then you move this to this hole here and that's low gear um obviously quill the quill lock i forget what this is Stop machine before clutching worm of the feed. It just alludes me to what this is. I have to look it up. This is the tilt. I guess it's time to plug it in and see uh, if I got the wiring right. First of all, and second off, is it going to go the right direction? So let me mount you guys here. What are you looking at? Okay, so you plug it in. I'll bring you over here and show you this before we. We should be uh, off position. Everything turns freely. So I'm going to turn on the phase converter and bring it a little closer. Put 
put a mark on here and see which direction that moves. I'm gonna go out here and get my toolbox. I'm gonna be a little optimistic and uh, actually put an arrow on there. Okay, this is it. I'm going to turn on the phase converter first and make sure there's nothing smoking or getting hot. Alrighty. See what you're seeing. You can see the switch from there. I'm assuming one position to the left. Okay. Okay. Try backwards. Okay, I've done something wrong in the wiring, I guess. Make sure I'm not in like a half gear or something anywhere. It started to go the right direction. And then it stopped. So everything's turning freely. I must have uh Huh. All I can think is I've, uh, all I can think is I've done something in the wiring incorrectly, so I need to break that open and look at it again. Anything that's not right is in this box. But uh, I hooked it up exactly the way it was with the old wire, and the old switch. Shift that and see if that made a difference. Well, 
I definitely got something wrong in the wiring because um, I got one direction and I don't have anything and for reverse so it's possible some wires came undone while I was putting all that back together so I'm going to check my connections and uh got to be a wire it's got to be something came loose inside that box but uh just a minor setback i am not discouraged and amazingly enough the crane okay i uh just finished and finished editing um this video and I'm going to add this on to it. Um, I got rid of that switch that I bought and I rewired the original broken switch that came with it. So I can put a screwdriver in here and turn this to its you know, two positions. So, I'm going to focus here on the quill, there, and I'm going to turn on the phase converter. Okay, everything here is good. I'm going to activate the switch. Um, clockwise that's the right direction now I'm going to try the other position should go counterclockwise Come up with a. I'm gonna have to kind of come up with a better switch. I do have uh, the switch that came off the south bend. Where did I put it at? Here. And that's a more traditional switch. So, pretty much can figure out where everything goes here. Um, these wires that are jumped over, that's two of the three legs. Okay. So, black wire goes to number three and it jumps to seven so this is say this is three and seven three and seven okay the white wire goes from one to five so say one to five the red wire goes to nine it I'm assuming that this one's number nine because I painted it red. So, I'm not 100% sure on wiring this in, but eventually I'll have somebody help me and we'll get this wired in get this mounted to this piece of hardware which mounts right here there's two holes there and there's two screws 
So that would go right there. So, like I say, we'll eventually have uh, have this wired up. So, this baby's ready to run, man. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to do the wiring on this switch right off the bat, because I'm just kinda putting it to where it makes logical sense, because there's only two there's two sets of there's two terminals that are jumped to each other in, in this box in this box as well so I'm gonna have I need three legs coming out of this box so that's going to be black, black, black. Those are my three legs leaving the switch. And then this is going to be uh, where my paper go. Then I got black, white, and red left. So black, white, and red can be any one of black, white, and red. Black, white, red. No, we're going to call this a leg. Leg, leg, leg. Black, white. And then I need to pick this one here, I guess, for red. But I think that's actually ground. I'll figure it out. We are a milling machine. We we'll get all that power feed stuff figured out, and uh, or the power quill, and um, <laughs> it's in there, man. It's the South Bend Conda. Ready? Ready to roll. Hey guys, sorry about the crappy camera work. Like and subscribe. Tell a buddy and bring a friend. The fun is getting ready to begin. <laughs> All right. I love it.